Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you task number 8, how to add the extensions. So before I am going to add the extensions, I want to show it to you. Right now I have enabled the DHCP service in my previous lab. So let's check what is the IP addresses my phones because already I connected the phones. So I just want to know what are the IP addresses my phones has taken. So for that, go to your PBX and log in with your username and password. Click on login. Then after that, click on the ellipse. Then if you see here, there is a auto provisioning. So click on this. And if you see here, right now I can able to see here, there is some phones that are taken the IP address. So if you see here, SIP T, SIP T58 and SIP T54S. And if you notice that, just maximize this. And if you see here, T58 has taken the IP addresses 192.168.10.101 and T54S has taken 10.102. And in my lab, we have one more phone which is T33. But still it's not showing because this firmware which I uploaded it's not recognizing this phone. So you no need to worry about it. So it has taken 10.100. So right now there is three phones in my lab. So each phone has taken different, different IP address. So this is what the easiest way, whether you need to confirm whether the IP address has taken or not. And also you can able to register your phones through this wizard as well. I'll show it to you in a few seconds. So let's close from here. Then first of all, as per my lab topology, I need to create the extensions. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create the extensions. So to create the extensions, click settings. Then after that, go to extensions, then create add. Just click on the add or else you can do the bulk add. So the better thing is that if you use the bulk add, you can able to create multiple extensions. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show it to you. If it is a single extensions, if you want to add, just click on add. Then after that, if you see here, it start with 101. So now I'm going to say the call ID name, Seshu. Then if you want, you can change this call ID as Seshu. Then after that, the concurrent registrations. So up to the same extension, you can use it for five devices, you can able to register. So I'm going to say, let's say three. Then after that, the registration password, by default, it's going to generate. If you want, you can change this, otherwise you can keep it same. So it's always recommend that keep it same. Why? Because it's very secure password. Then after that, click save. But before you are going to click save, if you see here, there is a presence. In case if you are not available, if you want to do a call forwarding, or if you want to change the ring strategy, you can able to do that. So these are the features we are going to discuss in other videos. And if you want to change your voicemail, by default, the voicemail pin number is your extension. In case if you want to hear what are the voicemails you are getting, so the pin number is the default of your extension. So if you want to do some other settings, you can able to do it as well. Now you can click save. Now you can able to see the extension 101 has created. In case if you want to create a bulk extensions, simply click bulk add. Then after that, it will ask you the extension is start from 102 and create a number. How many extensions you are going to create? So at the moment, I just want to create extra three. Then how many concurrent registrations? I want to use three. That's it. In case if you want to do some other changes, you can able to do it. So, so far, I don't want to do any other changes. So simply click save. So now you can able to see two, three, and four because I have created three extensions through bulk admin. Then say apply. So this is what how you are going to configure the extensions. It's so easy and simple, especially if you are going to use Aster IP PBX. Then the next task is that register the phones. So, so far my extensions has created. Now I'm going to assign these extensions to my phones. So let's go and see how I'm going to do that. So for that, as I mentioned to you earlier, just click on ellipse. Then after that, go to auto provision. Then if you see here, maximize this window. And by default, I want to give 101 for this. Let's say 100, I want to give 101 extension. Then just click on edit. 
then after that select the line then I want to specify 101 see here then after that click save then click yes the phone is going to reboot now after that I want to give 102 extension to this phone which is SIP T58 just click on edit button then after that select the line then it's going to select 102 so here I am going to select Brian then after that click save then click reboot then after that I have one more phone so for this phone I am going to give 103 so for that oh I forgot to change the name here so let's click edit why it's not changed so it has taken as 102 and label is this this is fine no issues for that it's going to take a little bit time to update then after that what I'm going to do I'm going to give 103 extension for this phone which is SIP T54S so just click on the edit button then select the line so here I'm going to give you the label as Joel then after that save then click S yes. now the phone is going to reboot so now I can able to see on my screen the proper date proper time along with the extensions so this is what how you are going to register your phones in case if you want to check what are the phones has registered you just go to the ellipse then after that if you see here there is a PBX monitor click on this then you can able to see what are the extensions has registered still 103 has not registered because it's taking some updating so we just wait for a few seconds then after that we can able to see it now the phone has come back now what I'm going to do now just click on ellipse then after that go to PBX monitor there you can able to see the three extensions has registered successfully so this is what how you are going to add the extensions and how you are going to register your phones so now in case if I want to test for example I want to test I want to call from Joel phone to some other extension so let's go and see that how I'm going to do this so you cannot able to see but you can able to hear so I'm going to call from 103 to 101 see you're able to hear that then I'm going to attend that call as well then now from 103 to I'm going to call 102 you can able to hear as well and you can able to see on the screen that it's changing that there is a status it's showing so 103 is trying to call 102 let's go and attend that call now you can able to see it now I'm going to disconnect this call so this is what how I'm going to register my phones and this is what how I'm going to add the extensions thank you for watching this video in my next video I'm going to show it to you how to add incoming call route and how to add outgoing call route. Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com.